Pablo Hernandez and his crews have their work cut out for them. They're the ones tasked with assembling a two-lane, 650-foot temporary bridge along NC-12 to restore traffic and help residents recover from the damage left by Hurricane Irene. The bridge is being pieced together on Pea Island, south of Nags Head, where ocean waters cut out a section of NC-12 more than 200 feet long. More than 40 trucks have arrived from Baltimore, Maryland, carrying equipment and bridge materials to the site. The process of assembling the bridge is an exercise in precision and speed. It's been one of the more complex projects that I've, I've worked on here on the Outer Banks. Very fast paced. That's probably the challenge of just keeping up with the, the information flow and the changes that are taking place minute by minute. The modular design allows the bridge to be assembled quickly so traffic can resume flowing. Its strength and durability let the bridge remain in place as long as necessary, while NCDOT devises a plan to permanently repair the damage done to NC-12. In all, there are 82 piles, which are vertical shafts driven into the ground to carry the load of weak layers of soil, and 12 concrete footings, which are the large portion of the substructure that distributes the load to either the earth or supporting piles. Before the crews could start putting the bridge together, they had to create a makeshift road to move equipment in place. To do that, crews used bulldozers to level and pack sand, then laid and linked 65 large gerbase mats. Crews remain committed to getting this lifeline to the Outer Banks back up and running as quickly as possible. Yeah, everybody is has taken on the challenge that they understand that uh, you know that there's a whole island community, or actually two island communities, with Hatteras Island and Ocracoke Island that are impacted, and uh, you know every day counts to them and so the guys are taking it on upon themselves to treat it as everyday counts for them as well. Crews hope to have the bridge open by early October.